Holy shit. Yes, Google, you are so close. Come on, Google. Come on. Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, the show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Monday. Hey, need a favor from you. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. The link actually takes you to the Twitter profile of Burn, Brian, the editor of Front Page Tech. Listen, I don't think Burn gets enough love here, so go follow him on Twitter and if you do it, I will give one of his followers one dollar giveaway of one dollar. Oh, but it's just a dollar. Yes, it is just a dollar, but it's a dollar from me. News. Okay, so story numero uno, number one for the day, Google Pixel 4 price leaks. Now, we've had leaks before that were wrong. We even did an episode about it called Google Ruined the Pixel 4. So I guess we should have titled this episode Google Unruined the Pixel 4. You've heard me talk about how excited I am about this phone and how Google is so close to sticking the landing. Like all the ducks are in a row and they just need to stick the landing. The price point. I've told you Google needs to charge $800 for this phone. Not $1,000. $800. Google's track record with this stuff just isn't great. They haven't earned the right to be able to charge such a premium price, $1,000 for these phones. And now we have a leak thanks to Evan Blass, a Canadian pricing leak, that prices the base model Pixel 4 at 1,049 Canadian dollars and the Pixel 4 XL at 1,199. Canadian monies. Now, prices per country vary in a lot of different ways. So it's usually not typically smart to do just a direct conversion, but let's do a direct conversion, shall we? Of course, this could mean absolutely nothing, but if we do convert the Canadian monies to America monies, it looks pretty good. That base model 64 gigabyte Pixel 4 would come in at around 790 US dollars. Right around that sweet spot, right around that $800 price point that I told you they need to hit. I mean, we'll know the real official pricing here soon enough. The Pixel 4 event is right around the corner, but holy sh Google, listen, oh, if you do this, if you hit this price point for the Pixel 4 at $800, I will be a very, very happy journ and the market will thank you. All right, next up, Apple is doomed. Like for the 11th year in a row, just uh, expectations for iPhone sales are down and uh, they're doomed. The company is over. They're gonna be bankrupt soon. Oh, actually they're fine. Plot twist, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen this one in a bit. Around this time of year, we usually see articles saying, Apple, uh, due to slower demand, has to cut the iPhone production by 10%. But this year, no, no, honey. Apparently, Apple is actually increasing the iPhone 11 lineup production by 10% because of the opposite of slow, weak demand. Strong, fast demand. Apparently, they've asked suppliers to increase production for both the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. This would effectively add up to 8 million extra units to the current production plan. We even have analyst leaker extraordinaire Ming-Chi Kuo hopping in on this, saying that with the demand of the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro right now and the addition of an upcoming iPhone SE 2, he expects the first quarter of 2020 to be a 10% increase for Apple overall. So not only is demand strong right now, but into Q1 of 2020, Ming-Chi Kuo is also predicting that demand will be just as strong and will actually have a 10% increase of iPhone sales as opposed to previous year. I mean, listen, if you watch the show, if you are a fan of Front Page Tech, if you are part of the Toilet Squad, you shouldn't act surprised here. I mean, how long have we been saying the answer to declining smartphone sales is not innovation, it's compromise. And I know I, you guys hate when I say I told you so. So I won't say it. I will not say that today. I told you so. Hey, remember the Samsung Bixby smart speaker thing. 
Neither do I. The Galaxy Home Bixby speaker. Uh, we haven't seen it really since they originally announced it. Originally, this thing was supposed to launch like... I don't know, a while ago, but it didn't. It missed that. Like, it was initially planned to launch in the first half of 2019, but then since that didn't happen, they were like, oh, uh, Q Q3? But as of September 30th, Q3 has ended. So they missed it ag ag again. Still not a thing. So I'm not really covering this story because it's exciting and I can't wait for this to launch. I'm more or less just covering it so we don't forget. I think Samsung wants us to forget. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep you updated to make sure that we don't forget. That was real rough, huh? I could redo the take. I could just do this again, but Nah. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.